Hello. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Um, so first, let me uh, introduce a bit about myself. Um, my name is Tu, and I'm 27 years old. And um, I graduated from uh, the University of Social Sciences and Humanities uh, in Ho Chi Minh City. And I majored in Chinese. My um, early career after um, my graduation was um, in customer service. Um, I worked for um, uh, a uh, furniture exporting um, and inspection company. Um, so my job then involved um, managing different customer accounts and products and uh, also handle customer queries and um, also complaints. So um, a typical workday for me um, involved um, handling different products and, um, <coughs> and handling customer inquiries and also complaints. I talked about that. <laughs> this was um, a job that I really liked initially, uh, but then working for this company um, kind of um, wore me down a bit. That's why I decided to um, quit my job and start something different. I didn't start a new career until um, over a year later. Um, after I got back from uh, seeing a bit of the world, um, all pumped and uh, fired up and ready to start something new, um, that's when I met my friend who was a web designer and he worked on his own as a freelancer. Um, he, uh, I was so impressed and uh, it was strange to me that he uh, quit his corporate job and um, decided to uh, learn web design on his own and uh, now working as a web designer. Um, so, so I was intrigued and uh, I asked him to show me how he did it. And that's how I learned uh, web design. Um, initially, I was just trying to, um, to learn and uh, to have fun with it. Um, just, it was just a way for me to um, create a new challenge for me uh, and create something exciting on the side uh, of, my, uh, of my office job. So well, I, I went back to uh, my office job for a few months after my travel. Um, but the first book that I um, learned was um, an HTML and CSS, CSS book. Uh, it was uh, one of the head first series and um, it was easy to learn and uh, was fun to uh, go through. So um, after finishing the book, I started to use Photoshop um, to create graphics such as logos and um, flyers and a mock-up of a website. The next thing, it was uh, JavaScript. I kept getting into new things very quickly because um, I wanted, my goal was to uh, grasp the basic knowledge of uh, a few things um, so I could um, be ready to start creating the first website. So um, I wasn't an, ex an expert in anything, but I knew multiple things. Um, Little had I know the little nerd in me, um, I, um, who had never used a, a computer more than, a, more than a complicated reason than uh, downloading YouTube videos. <laughs> Has anyone done that? <laughs> um, but uh, I, I didn't know what kept me going, but uh, I was really passionate about learning. Um, it was uh, a lot of fun for me, and I learned strictly for the fun, I just didn't know if one day I could make money with it. Um, uh, but every day I, um, I came back from my dorm room, uh, to my dorm room from my day job and um, started to drink my coffee at 6 p.m. and uh, learned web design until midnight. Um, this was something that uh, completely drew me in and um, I was actually excited to learn um, to learn uh, how to create uh, an, an image grusel or uh, a logo, a website mockup, etc. Then I found out about um, a content management system called WordPress. 
not too long after. Has anyone known about WordPress? Maybe someone? Okay. Sounds familiar, right? <laughs> um, so I quickly realized that um, I stumbled upon something good uh, because I could easily create a website within a few minutes. And uh, there is so much help online that um, whenever I got stuck into some, uh, in something, I could always find out the solution. Um, so after a few months of getting to know WordPress, I uh, created a profile on a site called Upwork. Um, and I, it, it's just for, um, it's a website for people who work digitally, digitally um, can find work. Um, I didn't have the courage to apply for any jobs on there because I felt like I wasn't ready. Um, this was like less than a year when I started learning about the digital stuff. Um, and then one day, I was lucky enough to, um, to have two clients approach me on there. So um, my first project was to um, create, oh, <laughs> sorry, um, was to create uh, a color palette for a, web, uh, for a brand. And uh, it was a rather quick and easy task. Um, so I created um, two selections of a color palette for my client. And I also thought that it would be helpful for my clients that, uh, for my client that um, I, I could show like the demonst demonstration of um, the color palettes on, um, on a website or on a flyer. So that's what I did. I uh, created a, a website mockup and uh, um, for sure, just to show like how the color palettes would look like. Um, <clears throat> so it was a good chance for me uh, to practice design as well. And I was surprised, uh, um, my client turned out loved it and she was so surprised that I uh, also created, created the mockups that go along with um, the, the color palettes. And she picked out a palette that she liked and job completely successfully. And for the next one, uh, my mission was to, to create um, my first WordPress website. And this would be my first website uh, in WordPress ever. And I was so thrilled that I got the project. Um, I was learning a lot while um, creating this first website. And it was a rather simple website. Now, looking back on it. Um, but everything was so new to me uh, because I was creating the scroll, like scroll down button for the first time or like um, create a custom homepage. Um, especially working with my client uh, on a web project was so different because um, there was, it was, I think it's a skill to, um, to, to, to have to, because I had to learn um, what client, what questions uh, and things I had to ask them, and um, what to provide them. So, um, so coming from a customer service background, uh, my goal is uh, my goals is to create a great website, uh, apparently, but also uh, to deliver the best customer service I could. So I aim to be uh, responsive and honest and uh, being myself and personable uh, with my clients. Um, and I could see that they appreciated that. They appreciated my work uh, even though um, that was like my second web website ever. Um, but I was learning quick and adapting and um, I, didn't, I wasn't afraid to try uh, our new things to so I can serve my client's needs better. So fast forward, uh, it's now been um, two years since uh, I've been working as a, a web designer. And uh, what drives me the most is that um, how happy my clients would be uh, at the end of the project. Um, and I was, I'm really enjoying um, serving my clients. My motto is, um, <coughs> to always um, go the extra mile. And um, I do think that isn't necessarily uh, required, 
but uh, if I find it helpful to my clients, then I would do it. Uh, such as um, creating a logo for my client who is in need of um, a website design, uh, just because I see that he's struggling with finding a good logo for his, for his brand. And uh, I created one for him, and he was uh, happy with it. So um, we could move forward with the web project, and we both were happy. So um, I created uh, the design demonstration for um, the color palette client, even though I didn't have to. Um, but it helped my client easier to choose uh, the right palette, so why not? Um, so I realized that uh, I'm still doing customer service, uh, but on my own terms, uh, serving clients is where my passion lies and uh, where that I get to do something that I also love now, which is uh, creating website. So um, from the date when I decided to start uh, learning digital stuff until uh, such as coding and design until um, the day I got the first project. It was uh, about 11 months and a few days. So it was coding and design in less than a year. Um, of course, I'm still learning things every day, and uh, I never stop learning. Uh, less, um, but less than a year was the time for me to, um, to learn the basic stuff and get me ready for real working experience. Um, so I'm, not, I'm just a normal person, I'm not smart, and uh, not particularly good at um, you know, learning stuff. But uh, I have a passion, and I go 100% into that. Um, so if you like me, and you love WordPress, and you love figuring stuff out uh, online, you can do it too. Uh, my advice to you is to not be afraid, to have fun, and um, to enjoy learning. And always be a student uh, in life, and um, just don't worry about making money yet, um, because uh, you're just starting out and just having fun um, yeah, learning. And lastly, one day if you decide to make a living with it, um, be a designer or a developer that is great at customer service as well. Um, so thank you WordPress for making it all possible and, um, and creating a, a community that I can always rely on. So I'm grateful for that. Thank you. Thank you too. That was an amazing story. I hope some of you who are here uh, because you don't know how to get started, you want to get some inspiration. Some of you are already like well-established experts. So I hope this was an interesting story to know from Tu. So if you have any questions that you want to ask her, we are open for a Q&A. Yes. Uh, can, can you just wait for a second? I want to give you a mic, please. Yes. All the way back there. Uh, no problem. All right. Uh, press the power button, please. Just press it for a second. Yeah, okay, got that. Two, I was just wondering, how do you get your clients now? Um, so most of my clients um, till this day is, um, was also from Upwork, and uh, they, they give me con um, contracts or projects consistently. Um, my first client that uh, I, I did uh, the website for was um, yeah was still my client nowadays, and uh, I'm lucky to uh, been keeping most of them, <laughs> and so yeah, based on that, um, and also they introduce like new clients to me. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Does anyone else have any questions? Yes, please. Uh, Yes, can we have the mic? Yes, thank you. Hey, Tu. Thanks for sharing your experience with us. Welcome. Uh, 
if you have any advice for you know people who uh, want to be budding web designers now looking back if there was any mistake you would recommend them to maybe kickstart their career what would you recommend um i think if you uh want to be a web designer um I think getting into WordPress as soon as possible is uh, I w it would be my advice because um, it's just something that you can learn very easily and very quickly and um, also um, also um, work on design skills um, at the same time. Yeah. All right. Do we have any more questions? Yes. No? All right. So thank you, Zoo. Thank you again. It was a very interesting and inspiring story.